Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today I am showing you what I got my kids for Christmas and we're gonna start with some stocking stuffers. So we're gonna start with Mace. Mace is gonna be like around two months old um, on Christmas. Actually almost exactly two months old, one day shy. Um, so I got him this little cup that says never grow up. It is a little Peter Pan sippy cup. So it is a practical gift because he's eventually going to be able to use this. We picked up some Johnson's baby bubble bath. Um, and then some boogie wipes. So again, going with the practical theme here. Um, somebody is waking up here, so see how much time I have. Um, and then I picked up these little binkies. These ones specifically, the doc they mimic the Dr. Brown's ones, which he absolutely loves those ones. So I picked these up. They're called Sweetie Soothers. Never heard of the brand, but picked these up because I liked how they looked. I thought they were really cute. So, um, and then the last thing we got for his stocking was these little wrist jinglets. Um, well, they're called wrist ra wrist rattles. I don't know that jinglet, jinglet is a word, but there it is. Um, so they go on his wrist and then they just like rattle. Um, very cute. So we went pretty low um, on his stocking this year. And obviously he's, him being two months old, he has no idea really what's going on. So we went kind of a little bit fun, but also pretty practical with his stocking. And then um, with his actual gifts, we got these teething toys. This is like a little set of teethers um, that are tools. So one is a wrench and one is a hammer. Um, and I think we got these on Amazon for like, I want to say they were like $5, $4.99. So very inexpensive there. I picked these up at TJ Maxx, which they're kind of all broken on the side there. <laughs> but is what it is. Um, they're little foam bath toys, which he can actually play with whenever he is able to start playing with these. But these, um, I have two boys. They're three and a half and two months right now. So they're both going to use these, obviously. But these specifically are going to be maces for Christmas. So we're going to actually wrap this one. And then um, we're going to be wrapping this as well. And I thought I had another wrappable toy for him, but I don't think that I do. So I think these are the, the only two actual presents that he got. Oops. But like I said, everything that we got him was pretty practical except for these like little wrist jingles. So, um, sorry I'm flying through this video. I am trying to make sure that he is gonna be okay because he is showing signs of being extremely hungry. So um, we are going to skip over to Milo's stocking stuffers. I'm really excited about this. I can't wait to show you guys these little uh, cars that we picked up at Kroger. This one is a Doug. It's a Hot Wheel car. Oh my gosh, you guys, how cute is that? I cannot deal with it. These ones are a little bit pricey. So I think these ones are $5 each. So just keep that in mind. Um, the Disney ones are. So we got this one, we got Peter Pan. Peter Pan car. Oh, sorry about that. Um, somebody got very hungry and <laughs> he was not going to wait. So um, we have this super cute Peter Pan Hot Wheel car. Like I said, all the Disney ones are $5 a piece. So they were pretty pricey. At least $5 is pretty pricey to me for a Hot Wheel car. Um, and then we got a, him a Captain Hook car as well. Captain Hook is one of Milo's favorite characters ever. Um, and so is Doug. Uh, Peter, he likes Peter Pan too, okay, but Doug and Captain Hook are like one of his favorites. Um, and then this Remy car. Look at how cute that is. Okay, you okay? It's so cute. I cannot deal with it. I wish I could get closer, but y'all, I can't get any closer than this. Um, and then we got this Cars one of Lightning McQueen with the like bugs on his teeth, which is a scene from the movie, one of the movies. Um, and then we just got him some regular Hot Wheel cars. Like these ones were like a dollar something a piece. So that just tells you kind of the difference of prices. Um, and then this one's like a yellow, what is this? A Hummer? It's a Hummer. I actually got it right. So he's going to love all these Hot Wheels. Um, and then we also picked him up some, sorry, I kind of readjusted everything. So we also got him some more practical items for his stocking. Um, we got him some Yoda, little baby Yoda toothpaste. I know this is Grogu, but I'm going to call him baby Yoda, okay? So baby Yoda toothpaste. Um, and then we got him some Mr. Bubbles foaming bath. This stuff is so expensive, you guys. It was like $7 for these two. Um, and I don't know. I think that's so outrageously expensive, but it's Christmas. So going to treat him there. 
Um, and then we got him some character bubble bath. And we never get him character bubble bath. I always get him Kroger brand bubble bath because to me, in my opinion, it is the best. But this is just something, like I said, it's fun, it's tear free. So, and he's gonna love it. Star, um, Star Wars. Spider-Man and Spider-Gwen on there. Um, so yeah, those are, you know what, actually I see another Hot Wheel that my husband got for him. So there's another Hot Wheel. <laughs> so that is Milo's stocking, complete and total stocking. I did get him one like tube of Grinchy um, Christmas, uh, what are they called? Hershey Kisses, like the Grinchmas Kisses. Um, but I actually already had the tube from last year, so I just kept the tube and restocked it with Grinchy Kisses. So that's pretty cool. FYI, that's a hot tip for you. You can just reuse the tubes, <laughs> the candy cane tubes and stuff. Um, anyway, for Milo's actual Christmas this year, we wanted to make it like really, really special. So I will show you, like the very last thing that I show you is his huge gift for the season. And usually he doesn't have a huge gift from us. We usually don't do any huge gifts for our kids. Um, we usually do pretty mediocre gifts because they get a lot of stuff from their grandparents, a lot of stuff from aunts, uncles, um, cousins and all that good stuff. So um, one of his gifts is a little um, coloring book set. So he has this coloring book. I think we got this at Dollar Tree, literally for a dollar. Back when it was a dollar, everything was still a dollar. Um, and then we picked this up to these, this Happy Holidays coloring book. And I literally have no idea where we got this from. So there's those two and those two will go in one packet all together. And then we picked this up at Amazon. I think this was $8.99. But it's like a, you know what? I feel like this might be more. It might have been like $10 or something. I can't remember. It was definitely on Amazon. It goes onto your bathtub. And you can see like the little kid on the back is like playing in the bathtub and like putting the balls into the, to the hoop. Um, so we thought he would absolutely love that because Milo is huge into bath time. Like he loves bath time. Um, the next thing that we got from Milo is this Hot Wheel track. We got this on a Black Friday deal for $9.99. I think it was $10. Sorry, let me readjust him here real quick. Um, Luca, stop. Sorry, the dog is going absolutely insane. I think the neighbor's dog is outside and she is tripping hard. Um, so we got him this Hot Wheels track. Um, it is a lot of Hot Wheel pieces and it comes with another Hot Wheel on top. If you couldn't tell, our son is super into Hot Wheels. He's three and a half, and this is like his whole world is Hot Wheels. Hot Wheel tracks and Hot Wheels and anything with that looks like a Hot Wheel. He absolutely loves them. So that's really cool. Um, and then I picked this up at, I think it was like World, it's called World Market. Um, I've only been to the store a couple of times, but I saw this and I was like, oh my gosh, Milo needs this. He loves bubble gum, like loves, loves, loves it. So at his school, there is like a big giant bubble gum machine and he loves getting bubble gum out of it. So I picked him up. Stop. Sorry about my dogs. <laughs> they are tripping and I have no idea what they're going to be looking at out there because I don't know if it's a squirrel or a rabbit or a dog out there, but they are freaking out right now. Luca, stop. Okay, I, I picked this up for Milo. It's a yard of bubble gum, literally. It's a huge yard of bubble gum. So that's really fun. Um, this is sort of just like a fun gift because he can use this literally all year round. I'm sure the bubble gum, the bubble gums are gonna be good. Bubble gums? The bubble gum in there is gonna be good for a whole year, at least I'm assuming. I don't really know that, but anyway, he can put it up in his room and then whenever he feels like it, he can reward himself with a piece of bubble gum. Um, so I think that was $13. So that was a bit extreme for the bubble gum. But for what it is, it's just this big, giant tube of bubble gum. I feel like Milo's just, eyes are just going to pop out of his head to see this. <laughs> um, and then this we got at Target. It is a Kinetic Sand construction site box. You guys, he's going to be so excited to get this. We got this for $11. It was on sale, not a Black Friday sale because we got it a little bit early this year. Um, but when he opens this, you can actually see it on the back here. The box itself actually turns into like a little construction box and he can play with all the kinetic sand in it. And yeah, really excited. Um, the truck and the little bricks and stuff, they actually come with the kit. So he is going to have a field day with this. Um, and then 
he's got two more gifts. So this one um, was a gift idea from my husband to him. Um, they are going to have so much fun with this thing. Literally, like, I'm trying to, like, pick this up with one hand, and it's semi-working, semi-not. I know. Okay. Don't know if you can tell. This is a 1500, sorry, I'm, like, pinching the box here. It is a 1,500-piece classic Lego set. It's got a whole bunch of different colors, and it's just, like, a literal classic Lego set. It doesn't make anything specific, but he can make thousands of things with it, and he's going to be so excited. His dad loves Legos, too, and so my husband and him are going to have, like, a field day with this, like, a whole Saturday of making stuff and days throughout the next 10 years of making things because these are, like I said, they're classic Legos. So they're not going to go out of style, and he's not going to, like, grow out of them for a really long time, and obviously all the other kids that we have can enjoy them. Girls, you're done. I'm so sorry about my dogs. I'm going to say that 10 times. Anyway, the very last gift that we got for Milo, I do not have it in here because it, one, it is extremely large, and two, it's extremely heavy, and three, um, we have to put it together. So I'm going to locate a picture, like right here, put a picture in here so you guys can see what I'm talking about. We got him, we found the most amazing Black Friday deal of our lives, okay? We really wanted to get Milo a huge present this year that would like be the present of the year. Like be be the one where it's like it makes his Christmas so, so deeply magical. And the reason being was because he is going from being an only child for the past three Christmases to now having to share his attention, share everyone's attention um, with his baby brother and... Um, the transition, he's done so well with it, and we wanted to reward him with that. I mean, he is such a great big brother. So we have decided that this year we're going to buy him one of those big power wheel cars where he can get in it and drive it around. Um, I had one when I was a little girl. Um, prices have definitely changed. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I think this was the first thing that I ever saved up for, and I ended up getting it when I was, like, six years old, so not three um, and it was like, I think it was like a $75 purchase. Um, this one was way more than that. So we were looking for a two seater because we wanted him and Mace to be able to drive around together and obviously him to be able to drive with Mace, like drive Mace around when Mace is like of the age to sit up and stuff. And so like, obviously probably not this summer, but maybe, well, maybe this summer if we can like secure him in it, um, somehow but if not it'll be next summer but anyway that's besides the point we were looking at jeeps specifically because milo loves jeeps he loves them so much even when we see like a random jeep in the parking lot he's like oh look mommy it's a jeep a blue jeep or a green jeep or whatever so he loves jeeps and um we ended up looking at a ton of different ones we looked at cars we looked at uh trucks and jeeps uh police cars all kinds of po different power wheels and we were looking at prices. We were keeping our eye on prices. Well, all the prices were above $200 for two-seaters. Like $220 was like the lowest end of the two-seaters. And those ones um, were like ones that we knew he really, really wouldn't really like. And so I was kind of getting worried that we weren't going to be able to get one this year. And on Black Friday morning, I was looking. I looked on Amazon.com. I looked on Target.com. I looked on Walmart.com. And the reason I was looking online specifically because was because... They didn't have really a whole lot of options in store for these power wheels. And all the options that they seemed to have in the stores were really expensive options, like three to four hundred dollars, and we were not gonna buy anything for that amount of money. So I'm looking at pages of pages of power wheels and nothing. Couldn't find anything that was even remotely on a good Black Friday sale. Like all of them were like thirteen to twenty dollars off. And I'm like, what that's not even a deal. When you're when you're buying something that, that expensive, like that's not even a good deal. So, I ended up going to Google and typing in Power Wheels Black Friday deals. You guys, the first one that popped up was this, this Jeep that we got him. It is a Toy Story Power Wheels Jeep, a two-seater, for $175. And I was like, this can't be real. So, it was on Amazon. 
I was like, this can't be real. Um, because I've been looking on Amazon and I, I haven't seen this Jeep and I don't like this can't be a thing. So I'm looking and it's 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 a real thing. Like the reviews on it were amazing and I was like, okay. So I sent the link to my husband. My husband's like, I just bought it. Because he was like, this is the best one that we could find. And he is going to love this thing. So um, the next day I went to find the link to send to my cousin. And I didn't realize how much of a deal we got on that thing. Because like I said, like all the other Power Wheels were like 220 and up. And that Jeep that we bought him was on sale from $334 down to $175 for a Black Friday deal. Like, we got the steal of a century with that thing. Um, and it came already. It's in the garage now. It's got a big tarp over it. Um, and, yeah, we're so excited to give it to him. Like, he's gonna, he's just gonna be so excited. So we're gonna put it together and then bring it into the house and we're gonna wrap it and put it in front of the tree. And that's gonna be, like, his big, giant present. And like I said, it's gonna be the present of the century because we don't plan on buying anything like that for any of the kids of that price and of that size for a really long time um, because yeah needless to say like it's it was a big ticket item and we had two kids to buy for this year but obviously we didn't get Mace a whole lot he's not really gonna know what's going on um, and he's more just gonna be there um, and, and be add some more excitement to the morning and everything but um, anyway that's like all the stuff that we got for our kids um, I'm sorry, bud. I don't really re know how much the classic Lego set was. I think it was around $30. You're done. Stop. They're driving me nuts. I'm so sorry. So I hope that you enjoyed some of the ideas that, um, I gave you. I know this is like super late. This video is super late. I don't know. I just wanted to share it with you guys because this is my channel and it doesn't really matter how many views I get on it. I just wanted to, <laughs> I just wanted to share with, um, my friends and my family and like all the people that regularly watch my stuff. Thank you so much. Um, I wanted to show you guys what we got. And so, yeah, that is pretty much it. I'm not sure. Girlfriend. I'm sorry. We have a we have one year old puppy and she's losing her mind right now. She cannot help herself. I feel like the neighbor's dog is out and they just want to go outside and play with him. You want to say hi? I mean, like, he fell asleep, like, right in the middle of eating. Isn't that the life? Isn't that the life? Huh? Huh, Mace? You see hi? <laughs> he, oh, he's got a little Grinchy outfit on today. I'm here for it, for sure. So, um, anyway, I don't know. I think there'll be one more video out before actual Christmas time, but I hope that you guys are having a really merry season. Um, and staying safe and staying cozy and warm. Um, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.